most physical businesses do this and most homes do this and most of the most popular online stores and websites do this as well. I'm talking about decorating your website for the holidays. Here is the CartFlow's pricing page right here and you can see we have added this animation and this graphic. I'm going to show you how to do this kind of stuff. Right here is the Presto Player pricing page as well and you can see this is fully decorated out for the holiday if you want to go all out right here we can add some decorative touches to the top and bottom of your sections on your website also have cute little snowman and check this out that's right adding a little bit of music flair to your website now before i lose you i just want you to know that everything i'm going to show you in this video you can use for non-holiday purposes as well so if you're ready to learn how to decorate your website or your client's website for the holidays this is the video for you Now you can see right here on this pricing page, we have this immersive graphic image. Now I'll be the first to tell you, I am not a graphic designer at all, but there is lots of resources out there where you can get graphics like this. And I'm going to show you right now. So here's a graphic and you can see at the very bottom right here, it bleeds into this solid color. So this area underneath the image, we just match that color and that's how we're able to accomplish this immersive feel but then feed into the rest of the content on the website now if you don't have a graphic service that you use you can literally go to google and type the the name of the holiday in this case halloween and then background or if it's christmas and I found a few links and it took me right here to Pixabay where it put that search in. And you can see there's lots of wonderful graphics here that you could use on your website. And these are all royalty free. There's nothing that you need to purchase or anything to use some of these images. This one right here is nice. I can imagine some text going here or maybe one of those animations that I'm going to show you how to use in a moment. Also, we have free pick right here as well. This is another result that came up when I did the Google search. Now, a free pick, it's a little different. So you can see a lot of these images, you just see the image, but then on some of them, you might see this little crown and that means you have to pay for those. But you can see everything above this crown. These are some nice holiday themed images that will look great on your website. So once you have those images, they're really just serving as a background. So if you're familiar with your page building tool, it would be the section background in whatever page building tool that you're using. Next, you might be wondering, how do you get these really cool animations like this? And you're in luck because they're super easy to add to your website. What you're going to want to do is come to this website right here. It's lottiefiles.com. That's it's L-O-T-T-I-E. I'll put a link in the video description to make it easy for you. So Lottie Files has these animation files and they're so easy to add to your website and best yet, they're all completely free. So I did a search for Halloween and you can see some familiar uh, animations, right? This is the one that I'm using on CartFlow's website. And this right here is the animation being used on the Presto Player website. Actually, it's not this one. It's another one on this page. Uh, so uh, these are so easy to add to your website. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is choose one of these animations. Let's go ahead and choose this cute little cat pumpkin right here. Then it's going to pull up in this sort of a pop pop up that animation that you chose. Now on the top right, there's some download options right here. If you wanted to actually download this and add it to your website, instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture the URL to this animation and I'm just going to add that to my website. Don't worry, I'm going to show you all of this. So right here where it says use this animation on, I'm going to click right here where it says HTML and you saw a very quick flash right and you see here is the url i'll go ahead and zoom into the url what i want to copy is this portion of the url right here you see that it says url equals and there it is i'm going to want to copy this into my clipboard now that i have it copied into my clipboard we need to add it into our page layout now you might be a 
Gutenberg, Block Builder user, or an Elementor user. It's easy to do this with both of them. First, I'm going to show you how to do it with the WordPress Block Builder. You're going to need to add a plugin to your website that has this block to display these Lottie animations. And the name of that plugin is Ultimate Add ons for Gutenberg. So go to plugins, click on Add New, and over here in the top right, we'll do a search for it. And here it is. You can see I've already in installed and activated it. So now I'm going to go into their settings panel. I'm going to go to settings and you see right here it's under UAG. And what I wanted to show you was that their blocks are modular. You can disable the ones you are not going to use and enable the ones you are going to use. So when I'm in their settings panel on the top right it says blocks and in here if you didn't want to use their blocks you can just click on deactivate all and then activate the blocks that you know that you're going to want to use on your website. In this case, it's right here under Lottie animation. You can toggle that on. But for this video, I'll leave them all activated. I just wanted to show you that it's very modular and you can just use the blocks that you want to use. So now let's add this to a layout. I'll go to pages. I'll click on add new. I'll give this page a name. Next, I'll add the Lottie block. So I'll click on the plus here to display all my blocks and I can start uh, typing it in. There it is, Lottie, and here it is the Lottie animation. And when I add it to my layout, you can see I can upload that animation if I wanted to store it on my website or I can choose an existing one if I've already done that, or I can insert from a URL. I wanna insert it from a URL, so I'll go ahead and click on insert from URL, and I'll paste it in. Remember, we added it to our clipboard, and then I'll click on enter, and you can see now I have that animation on my website. Now what we want to do probably is make a few adjustments to this. So you can see over to the right, we have our different options for it. And the first is when do you want it to play? You're going to want to leave this on default and the speed. You'll probably want to leave it to how it's set. What we want to do is change the size, obviously, because it's pretty large. I'll click right here on the second tab that says style. And then here's an option to adjust the width. So we can adjust that to whatever we want for our layout. And you can see there it is. Now, what you'll want to do probably is have a container underneath this with a background image similar to what we just saw prior. And then you might want to either add this over the image inside of a column or however you like to design your layouts. But as you can see, it's super easy to add these Lottie animations to your website. Now, if you happen to use Elementor, specifically Elementor Pro, there is a Lottie block that comes with it. I don't have Pro installed on this website. So when I go here to search and I start typing in Lottie, you can see right here, but it has that little padlock, which means you need the Pro version. But the good news is if you don't have Elementor Pro, there's a free plugin called Annie Mentor right here. In fact, I made a video specifically on this and adding Lottie animations to your website using Elementor completely for free. I'll put a link to that video in the video description down below, but it's pretty much the same process. You can install and activate this on your website and it will add a Lottie animation. Oh, as a matter of fact, there's my video. Uh, that's nice of uh, them to go ahead and and add that. So matter of fact, I won't have the link to that. So just go here and type any mentor like that and you'll see my video and how easy it is to add these Lottie animations to Elementor when you're not using the pro version of Elementor. And lastly, I want to show you how to add these decorations that I showed you in the beginning of the video. This right here is a section divider, these Christmas lights, as well as different characters floating, as you can see right here, and this bottom graph here, which is also a separation divider, how to add music to your website, and there's also a particle feature. Now, all of these features were recently added to ultimate add-ons for Elementor, which is a tool that most people here on the channel are already using when they're building out websites using Elementor. In fact, here's a blog post covering these new features that they recently added to this plugin, and it goes over all of them. Now, what I think is really cool about how they made them, you can use them for non-holiday purposes. So the music player for your website, 
well, you can play any music you want on that, as well as those little graphic characters. You can have those be whatever you want as well. Now, I'll have a link to this website down below if you want to go ahead and check it out. Now, just like the other Gutenberg plugin I showed you for Lottie that was modular, these new enhancements to Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor are modular as well. So I'm going to go to Settings, and I'm going to click on UAE, which is where all their settings are. And and you can see them all listed here. Now, what happens though, when you get the update, if you already have this on your website, is the modules and the feature enhancements for these come deactivated out of the box because it's kind of a seasonal thing. So you can see them listed here. We've got welcome music. That's the music player. We've got party props. That's the little snowman, but there's other images in there and you can use any image that you want as well as the section divider. Let me show you how easy it is to add these to your website. So here I am inside of the Elementor interface and I'm going to show you how easy it is to add these things. So first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at adding some falling snow particles. So if you go into your section settings for any of your sections and then go ahead and click on what is it style and then here it is UAE particle backgrounds. And if we turn this on, you can see we get some different style options. And by default, it's showing this NASA one, but we have snow right here. And don't worry, we can control the speed and how much snow is falling. We have snowflakes right here. Those are kind of large. We have Christmas, a lot going on right there. We have some Halloween stuff happening. That's actually kind of cool. But then you can also add a custom particle background right here. Now this feature of a custom has been there for a while. So let's go ahead and put on snow and you can see we can change the color of the particle. We can make it more opacity so that we see less of it. We can change the direction and there's some advanced settings right here for quantity, the size and how fast they move. So if you wanted these to go a little slower, let's go ahead and put this down to like a one. You see they're going a lot slower. It almost looks like the nether if you've seen Stranger Things on Netflix. That's kind of what it's looking like right there. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and leave that. So now let's go ahead and add some music. So I'll go ahead and click on the dial pad. Now remember, music is really cool because you can play any music you want, not just these holiday tunes. So if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, it's right here. It's called Welcome Music. And I'm just going to drop this uh, right here. Now, it doesn't actually matter where you drop it because as soon as you drop it, you'll see in the bottom right corner a play icon and you can style that up. So let's see what we have here. So we have music source is the first option. So it could be a link to a music file or a music file inside of your library. And it just needs to be an MP3. So I'm going to leave it at default. And then where it says select tunes, there's a few in here. There's jingle bells and there's several different song, um, tunes in there that you can play. So I did jingle bells. Let's go ahead and just use this winter loop. And then we can turn on autoplay. So let me go ahead and play it really quick by clicking on the play button. There you go. That's the song. So uh, I like it. I'm happy with that. I'll go ahead and turn on autoplay. Now, not all uh, web browsers will allow you to use autoplay. So you just know that if you use it in certain browsers, it might not autoplay, which is fine. And then we got the loop. We've got the volume. You might want to lower that. It's up to you. And then here we can style out the play and pause button uh, to our liking. Now, I, what I think is actually cool about this is you can play, put any music file you want. And I, I know if you've made websites for people before, I guarantee you someone said, hey, can how can I have music playing in the background when someone visits that page? And this is a real nice and easy enhancement for you to be able to do that. So now let's look at adding the shape dividers to the top and bottom. So I'm going to go into this section right here in the settings and I'll click right there to get into them and I'm going to click on the style option and you can see right here it's a uh, shape divider. Now this is a feature inside of the free version of Elementor but they don't have holiday themed shape dividers. So let's go ahead and expand it and so we're going to put one on the
the top and when I click on the drop down, you can see the one added by ultimate add-ons for Elementor is at the very bottom. It's being cut off by the screen recording, but it says Christmas lights and there it is. And then we have some settings here to change how this is configured if we want. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom options and I'm gonna expand this and oh, it's being cut off again. So we have Christmas tree, there it is. And we have this other one right here that says Halloween. So you can choose whichever you want and also choose a color. So for Halloween, you might want something kind of like oranges or something like that. So let's see, uh, that looks kind of Halloween-ish. Usually if I want to find a color that is going with the season, I'll just go to Google and type Christmas red hex code, Halloween orange hex code, and it will give you the official colors for those seasons. And there's different customization options right here so that you have full control over how this looks. So since I already have the Christmas lights, let me go up to the Christmas trees. Uh, that doesn't look right. I'll go ahead and choose one of those greens. So it looks, um, it, or it looks good. There we go. So there we go. We got a nice little green going on. Perfect. Okay. Lastly, I want to show you how to add this new feature called party props. I think it's actually kind of cool. Uh, and this is another one that you can use any image you want. So right here is a heading. I'll go ahead and click on the heading. And when you go into the advanced tab of the settings, you're going to see an option here that says UAE party props. And when you click on it, you can then enable it and here is the feature. So let's go through some of the options. So first is the image type. It's set to image, but right here, it could also be a font icon if you wanted. So that you're, you're starting to see how there's other uses for this. And if it's an image underneath image source, you can see the last option is custom and I can choose any image that I want. All right, let's go ahead and choose uh, Santa Claus this time. There we go. We got a cute little Santa Claus. Uh, next, you'll want to play around with the position to get it just right. So let me move him up a little bit and uh, let's move him uh, right there. I could just go off to the side and make him much larger if I wanted. Uh, let's see, there we go. He's becoming larger and larger. Uh, there we have it. The only thing I don't like is he's covering this text, but I believe if we put a zero for Z index, the text appears above him, but you just want to be careful that you're not covering the text. So in this case, I would probably uh, move him a bit up. Let's see, let's move him up. So let's go ahead and put a 50 in here. And actually let's put a 200 in there. There we go. Now he's standing above the title. Puts a really nice touch, but remember, you can use a custom image if you wanted to do something like this year round. Now there's other controls if you wanted to rotate him a little bit to have fun. I actually like this rotated a little bit like that. Now, since we're placing an image down, you're gonna wanna check the placement on mobile devices. It's very easy. You can see here is the mobile toggle right here for the different responsive positions. So if I click on this and then choose mobile, we're gonna get to see how this looks on mobile. And you can see it's not looking uh, positioned how I would probably want it. So for this, I would probably on mobile make him a little smaller, something like that. And I might want to move him, uh, let's see, a little more off to the right. So let's go ahead and put some manual numbers in there. There's 200, that's good. And for the vertical position, I'm gonna put a, uh, let's see what negative 50 looks like. Uh, let's just see what zero looks like. Ah, that's okay. I think I want a negative 20 there. That's actually looking really good. And I think he's a little small now, so let's make him a little larger. Uh, there we go. And that just adds a nice little fun touch to your website. So you'll also want to do this for tablets. All right, let's go back into desktop mode. And you can see there is our Santa right where we left him. So there you have it. That's how you add a nice little touches to your website. And this would be a great thing to offer your clients if you have clients just sprucing up their website a little bit for the holiday. And a cool thing with the holidays is 
everything's pretty much on sale that you need to build a website. So I have a link down below with the deal roundup, the best deals that I found on all the tools that I talk about and use here on this channel. So a link to that for Halloween as well as Black Friday will be in the video description box and I update those each Black Friday, Cyber Monday, each Halloween to make sure it's always up to date and it's a convenient compiled list just for you. Hey, thank you for watching this video. I'd appreciate it if you took a moment and gave it a thumbs up, share it out if you wanna have some fun with it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.